Welcome back to the adventures of the mighty Methuselah himself, Alexander, King of Bavaria. By marriage, unfortunately, we are we're actually just a bit of a, a a bit of a crappy duke, to be honest with you. So, what's the plan for today? Well, firstly, thank you to the people in the comment section who pointed out that there is actually a very useful tab, um, which I basically ignored the entire game, even in the last series as well, that basically shows us a quick way to blackmail four hooks. I do know that you can blackmail hooks. I don't know if I accidentally edited out in a previous episode or something, um, but that's how we were able to revoke Magdeburg. Um, was fire obviously pushing that hook on them, blackmailing them for it, then refusing, and then us just going to war over it. Um, but what I didn't know is that screen basically allowed you to uh, see your own secrets. That's really the big bonus to this. Because all of this stuff, like the blackmail for the hook thing, you just right-click them and do that. Um, and there's an option right there. But this is useful for keeping track of your own stuff. That's quite nice. And being able to see it at a glance, I guess, is pretty good too. You can see the difference between the strong and the weak hooks as well there. Um, right now... Uh, we actually have no, unfortunately, no secret we can press against our liege to allow us to go to war against fellow vassals again. So we have claims on everywhere, we just can't push the claims. Um, there you go. So I cannot declare this without using a hook on my liege due to the realm's laws. So we're in a bit of a tough spot right now with regards to actual realm expansion. We can... We can just focus on our guy for a little bit. What I was thinking is swapping over to um, chivalry. Now, I was thinking of doing that yesterday anyway, but someone quite rightly pointed out that Kingsguard gives you four additional knights, which is pretty fantastic, especially when in this, knights make all the difference. What I was thinking of is another one that gives, like, knights... There it is. Knight effectiveness plus 75%. If that applies the way it does to the base game to these vampire knights, then they're... Or champions, I should probably call them. Um, that's going to be insane. That's really going to make a massive amount of difference. So we'll go into Gallant. We can't swap over right now. For reasons I don't understand, seeing as I feel like we've been on theology for years and years and years... I don't know if there's any other limitation on that, but we, we can't swap over at this point. When can we swap focus? 1325. Oh, that's like next year. Okay, we'll blitz forward to that then. Um, I have been in between episodes. I tidied up our wars that we were called into by our allies. Um, basically, I have very against Swabia and somebody over here as well. Just to get the piety. Uh, sorry, just to get the prestige back in, to be honest, so that we can obviously call them back in in response. Right, we've got empty Chancellor. Welcome aboard. Not that we really have much to do. I also took a concubine because we're constantly being bothered about the fact that we don't have concubines. So I also invited to court. I did the option to um, invite more champions. So that's unavailable for a while. I don't think we've had any turn up yet, but we'll just quickly go ahead and check the military tab. Um, oh, we did. And not only that, we got a good one as well. Can we take her as a concubine? Why not? We might as well keep her around. as uh, That way, kind of killing two birds, one stone there. Oh, you're much better as well. My granddaughter. She's got one, two. How many knights can we have? Eight. Um... Okay, so that's fine. We obviously won't recruit her because we've got way better knights than that. We're getting pretty good. There's still no, uh, still no, you know, 48 prowess knights like we had with that one guy yesterday. What's ours? 44. We're pretty good as well. We should be the one leading most of these armies. We are second in line. Are we really? To take on... Let's go to the candidates. Let's go to rank. She is well ahead of us in terms of votes. If we were to... Diabolize? <laughs> <laughs> um, daughter of High Lord Hardestat. She's an irrational adventurer. We could murder her. She's part of our dynasty, though, right? If she's the daughter of Hardestat, who's our nephew, that I see. I don't know how quite how different kinslaying is in this mod, bearing in mind, obviously, dynasties work very differently. Um, it's also only a 22%, and we can't really bank on the fact that we're going to be elected. It would be fantastic. We could. Man, I guess if we get some claims together, we get some hooks together, 17 to 4, we would have to get hooks on quite literally every other elector right now not voting for us. And even that, I don't think would be enough. Um, so we've got Queen. Who have we got there? Queen Julia Ernest. Ah, oh, I'm pretty sure we have a hook on her, don't we? Well, let me go and investigate, see what we can, see what we can throw together. Ah, so we have her... We have the Empress of the Courts of Love. Sorry, my bad. So, wrong round, but we'll still blackmail her for a hook. There's no reason not to. Um, drinks the Blood of the Willing. I, I know that we're... They, they do expire eventually, but we, we can probably do something with that, surely? Given that she's our rival and we can't use that hook for anything, because she's a different round. I wasn't expecting to. We can, however, expose it. I expose the fact that she feeds on other vampires, and then... I assume all of her other vampire vassals, courtiers, and whatever else are probably going to be quite pissed off by the fact that she eats other vampires. That works. Um, what do you think of her now? Let's take a look. Rival, callous. Oh, that's her opinion. No, I want to see your opinion of your lead. Here we go. Um, doesn't care. Oh. <laughs> really? You don't mind the fact that she's a blood leech? That's a bit bizarre. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we have 
no secrets available on him, but we can obviously expose him if we feel like it. I would rather try and get... We, let's go ahead and investigate you. Let's, let's see if we can get something from him. 68%. We'll double down on it. We'll also get our spy master finding secrets in Frankfurt. That's the capital, right? Uh, certainly looks like it is. Fantastic. We'll double down on it. We've got to try and expand at some point, right? Let's go chivalry focus. And then we're going to go chivalric dominance immediately. Actually, we'll probably just go down this tree. We don't really care about romance power, I don't think. I would rather, if we're going to do something like that, I'd rather go into the diplomacy tree. If I can click on the bloody diplomacy tree. Hang on. Uh... Can't, can't select it too many, unfortunately. It's also quite difficult to just click on the other trees as well. So it's, oh, oh, there we go. They've just about rammed in, I think, the maximum amount there. Uh, I would rather go for Befriend, so eventually we can get Friendly Counsel. Each friend gives two random skill points. You're probably thinking that's only just going to be as powerful as it normally is, but everybody's immortal. So friends, if we can keep immortal friends around in court, protected, maybe not on the front lines, just keep them around as skill boosters, we could build this guy up to something incredible. Let's get the martial tree done first, because that is quite literally the difference between life and death and losing land. Then we'll go into the diplomacy tree, and I think that is the real keys to the kingdom. By getting a martial lifestyle perk, yes please, because that's taking up very, very slowly. But we could get aggressive attacker. I don't know if aggressive attacker is... Enemy face with casualties, 25%. I mean, when it's mostly just knights, I don't know if that applies to champions. Levy is not a problem anyway, right? Same with same with militia uh, or mana arms. Whereas, yeah, you know what? I think we'll take the martial lifestyle perk. Thank you. And that's so much better already because we're immediately in chivalric dominance there. So 75% effectiveness in the first two seconds. Brilliant. Ah, we have actually succeeded. There he is. So they give you all the backstory there to harder start as well. We will learn that he is a fifth generation vampire. You will learn that he is a farmer. And then hopefully we can now... Let's go back to this screen. Might as well use it now that we've got it, huh? We can now blackmail him for a hook. We can't, really. Fifth generation drinks the blood of animals. Preys upon warriors. No secret can be used for blackmail at the moment. I guess they've already been exposed, haven't they? Balls. Imperiled, hungry, obese. Obese? It doesn't look particularly obese, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. The enemy of Rome. While studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amazed to learn about the exploits of Hannibal Picard during the Second Punic War. Like Hannibal, I will annihilate my enemies. Well, like I said, I don't think aggressive attacker is particularly good when taking out, you know, the bulk of the armies is not a problem. Hannibal was a true master of Fabian tactics, gained logis lo lo logistician, uh, supply duration 100%, or versatility, flexible leader, enemy defensive advantage minus 50%. That one could be better. Um, so that just gives supply, right? Again, supply is a bit irrelevant when levies aren't the key thing. Um, flexible leader. Reduce the advantage defending armies again from fortifications, terrain rivers, and straight crossings. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Speaking of Hannibal, we might not be able to attack inside our own realm temporarily. Uh, but there is Greater Poland just kind of right there, um, led by the Hannibal dynasty. We could go for that. I mean, their military strength is similar to ours. They've got uh, a shitload of, of ally military strength in terms of levies. But in terms of knights, they've only got 15. Uh, we have eight. I think one of ours have just... Oh. I don't know why it says seven out of seven. Don't worry about that. Uh, with our allies too, I think we could take him down. Hmm. Okay. I could be persuaded. Um, now, I'm also thinking, why the fuck have we got light footmen? Did I say light footmen are mangonels? I, I seem to have been possessed by madness when I built these regiments. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get rid of those for the time being, I think. Ah, Nicholas Zanakin. Ah, uh, it's good at Marshall. Time to pull some strings. God is of no concern. Bribe him to our court and then go for the embrace. Yeah, I mean, 15 Marshall is quite nice. Let's get him. Uh, let's go ahead and embrace you. We got 100% chance, 10 months to do it in. I guess that's the, I guess that's a risk with Wanderers. They can leave whenever. And if you, it's going to take 10 months to go for a scheme, then, um, continue to find secrets. Let's go ahead and find secrets in our own capital. So now just kind of find some generic secrets. Um, so just by must find secrets in Dessau. Current task, find secrets will be aborted. Correct. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. All right, here we are. Um, oh, thank you. We don't need that, but that's great. So I think we'll go for Greater Poland. Let's see, why not? Uh, let's get the council. Let's get you fabricating claims over there. Um, yeah, and I mean, that gives us plenty of borders externally as well to go and attack into. Lots of kind of random Scandinavian provinces. Got Skorner have taken a lot of the uh, lot of the coast here. Osvalen, Sassna. That will be quite easy. And just kind of tidy this up. Might as well spread our legs where we can. Spread our legs? Oh, no. Spread our wings where we can. Uh, <clears throat> got him. Embrace. There we go. 
We will kill him and transform into a vampire that's cost you piety. May increase your hunger and may risk exposing the masquerade. We lose 100 piety. Ooh. Gain 500 sanguine resonance, though. And we can now unlock a perk for that. Ooh, that's quite nice. Um, taste of blood requires a, the base disciple trait to buy tro perks in this. Oh, right. We don't have the sanguine trait. Fair enough. Um, we could buy something and just kind of bank it for later. That one doesn't do anything by the looks of it. Okay. Um, Siege base time minus 15%. Oh, that's quite good. Direct vassal opinion plus 5 and direct gain 20, 20%. Um, gain 10%. Prowess murder scheme power. Entrance summon. I don't know. I don't know where to start going for. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go for that one. Sorry, might as well spend the point. I know we can't actually use it. That's interesting. So I, I never actually bothered looking at the right cut of anyone our guy, but we've got Find Mortals, Blood Surge, Blood Heal, if we're, I guess, maimed, wounded. Um, spawn an army or cover up the Masquerade. Mass Embrace Vampires. It's 100 piety. We gain Mass Sire Secret. Mass Embrace a group of mortals, turn them into a vampiric warband. Oh, cool. Um, and that creates a, maybe a Mana Arms Regiment. Or we've got Ghouls. 10% chance of the masquerade exposure increasing. Wow. That's quite cool. We are trying to save a piety right now, but if we're ever desperate to go to war or to break free or anything like that, that's an option. We can enter an alliance with our liege? Okay. Sure. Hey. I am honored by your request. I'll be glad to call you an ally. No problem, chief. Uh, now we could really go for some external wars, huh? Build ourselves up until we can potentially get an independence faction going on here. Bohemia is looking nice and independent there too. Oh man, this is good. Oh, we gain a martial lifestyle perk again, but it's 52 stress. The so we did randomly gain melancholic. Remember yesterday we kind of had the debate between drunken and melancholic, and the game's just like, here you go, you can have this one for free. So we could just oh, attempt suicide is the side effect of melancholy. Uh, that's not a good idea, is it? All right, I guess we won't be doing that one. Then I was going to say, we can probably just lose a bit of stress by embracing that. That's fine. Go on, then. We'll go for the critical in exchange for the lifestyle. Um, we're back part of another war again. I'm just doing it for the prestige, really. Right. Okay, we can gain irritable. What does that do? Uh, prowess plus two. Stress loss plus 20%. Dread gain plus 10%. Oh, we have a stiff drink. Or... Yeah, I don't see what, what's wrong with Irritable so much. Fine. Kingsguard acquired. Let's take a look at what we can do now. This is going to do some damage. Holy shit. Um, Druid's Court. You do not have 325 gold. No, and even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. Right, here we go. Uh, oh, look at this. 9 out of 13. Really? Uh, Why are these guys not allowed? Oh, there we are. I, I guess it's just where it ticked over from having 7 knights to 13. Are they all in this army? I don't know how to actually... To attach knights to an army if you can even do that. Let's disband them. We'll rebuild them in a second. Um, levies are kind of at half capacity too. We've only got in our mana arms regiment. We need to save up a little bit, don't we? Get some, get some armored horsemen, light horsemen, something like that. Armored footmen, preferably not just nothing but light infantry this time. These are all. None of these wars are, are ours. They're just our wife again, getting herself into a lot of trouble. A war horse and another master of lifestyle trait. My God, this is fast. I was looking at it and I was thinking, man, this is going to take years because we get plus five a month, which is just god awful. But no, I mean, it's so... What does Gallant do? Prowess plus four, Marshal plus two, Prestige plus 20%. Yikes. And the attraction opinion is, is pretty fantastic. Fine. Let's go and get Gallant and then we'll probably flip over to the diplomacy train and start working on the... Uh, start working on the befriend plan. Admiring the mayor that now follows my every command, I must muse upon what's caller. Um, mythology, I guess. King Arthur's horse, uh, slept near Mount of the Sun God. Balius, Achilles horse. Ooh, I like that one. Let's go for that one then. I'm kind of testing these new 13 champions that we've got. And to be honest, my God, it is insane. <laughs> like we can fight armies that are triple our size and it's just the knights that make all the difference. Well, what have these guys got for us? So we're looking at three armies there. We might actually lose this one. They've got 18 champions. Yeah, so when it's... But bear that in mind, though, that beforehand, we were losing to kind of groups of six or seven vassals at a time. But this is this is a game changer. If we can get her and us fighting these guys at the same time, those splintered states, those vassal rebellions are not going to matter anymore. Okay, this was a good idea. Um, we're trying to... I'm still trying to sway him, keep him on side. Oh, he's already got plus 100 opinion of us on it. Uh, yeah, me, of course. We'll, we'll do it just for the free prestige. Why not? We're up to 2,100 now. Exalted among men. 
That's level four, isn't it? Hang on. Can we launch an invasion? Fifth level of fame. Oh, Burgundy. If I were to... Hang on. I, I believe that means we can launch an invasion. Courts of Love have fucked off. Uh, well, obviously our army's raised right now. But in a second, let me double check that. Because we could be... We could be in a very, very interesting place. Suddenly expand to the other side of... The other side of Europe. There we go. That's what I was talking about right there. So we got 17 from three groups versus just us and Bavaria. Good God. Look at Duchess Inanna. Wow. House Eater. Bit on the nose there, fella. Uh, get it? Bit on the nose because she's a, a vampire. Sometimes I think I'm wasted on this platform. Actually, Mr. Streamer, I think you find vampires bite on the neck. Well, you got me. I can't, I can't even argue against that one. Bro, we're looking at there. Uh, that's a decisive victory, is it? Two champions. Oh, you, you fools. You are so dead. A lot of these are, again, they're all just ally wars. It's a price we pay, really, but it's, it's look at our prestige, though. We can't complain. Our gold is in the toilet, but our prestige is fantastic. Done. There we go. More prestige for us. Right, I think we've got enough prestige to last us a lifetime now, so I'm going to disband our troops. Um, we'll let them kind of kick around for, or I, I would. Um, oh, fine. You know, I'll help you out a little bit, because that's actually quite a sizable army, isn't it? There we are. Right, I'll do what I can, but we're not getting involved in any other wars. We need to try and save up some cash. We can. I fucking knew that we could. We can invade a kingdom, whichever one we want. Take your pick. Courts of Love, we could just go and invade it. I think we actually have a claim on it, though, don't we? Yeah, we do. Vastly inferior, because we have a claim on the Courts of Love. Put him back to where he belongs as the king of the realm. We would still be under the five to the Black Cross. And then we've just got to try and get ourselves elected. Man, that would be a... Uh... That would be a hell of a twist, wouldn't it? We'd have to try and unify, like, the... We could use our invasion, actually, on Burgundy or the baronies of... Oh, England's got it. Or the baronies of Avalon. Um, so if we grab the Courts of Love, then use an invasion cast a spell on Burgundy, we've essentially helped rebuild the Carolingian Empire at that point. That's pretty big dick. I could, I could do that. Gain the contested title. 600 prestige. Vastly inferior. Is that their military strength? 11 champions. It is. Okay, just wanted to double check in case I was misinterpreting that. Oh my god. Yeah, we could annihilate them. Let's give our troops ch chance to rebuild. We obviously want to go for... We, we still want some good troops here. So armored footmen, armored horsemen, again, would be quite nice to go along with our mangonels. Could, though. She's at war with someone else right now. So the longer we leave it, the more... The more they're going to lose. Declare your claims. It's 600 prestige. So even if we do lose, I'm not really that concerned. Call in our allies. We've got the prestige now. We've done them massive favors. They should help us. Uh, can we call in High Lord Hardestat? We'll accept. Uh, oh, because I cannot call my liege as an ally against a fellow vassal. Eh? Oh, because we're part of other wars. Right. Okay, we can't call them into all of them then. Um, we'll call in who we can. How much is this costing us per... It doesn't actually say how much it costs to call them in. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? Um, no immediate effects. Maybe that's allies and not house members. I might go in mad or is the soundtrack doubled up there? Uh, <laughs> well, that's a bit of a mess. Okay. Um, I think one, it might be from declaring the invasion war or something like that. Let's get over there as soon as possible. Just go straight for their capital. Charge them down. Who's in the armies? Uh, we are. We are. All or nothing here. If we die, so be it. So be it. What can we reinforce to? Oh, we're basically reinforced anyway, right? Get in there. 43% for sieging two provinces. Oh. Look upon your new king. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, you know, jumping to it a bit too soon. Uh, supplies running low. Better army commander. We got seven versus 13. I think the game might be misinterpreting that. Of course, it's not going to be able to really tell about the, the commander changes, I would assume. But five there, seven there. That's still 12 total. We are using mostly levy, though. Why don't we go through and take out these guys... No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding. Well, never mind. Okay, that's fine. Ha, <laughs> ha. We'll be fine either way. Boom, look at that. There you go. Let's head down, kill those ones. 59%. Very nice. Oh, this is incredible. Okay. Just start sieging. Put those mangonels to good use. 100%? Why? Who did I just capture? Oh, we just got the war score. The battle war score. That's all it took. He returns. Patriarch. Well, that made his empire tier. We got independence. What? <laughs> Chitty Duke Town, mighty emperor in one fell swoop. Look at that hat. Wow. 
Holy shit. Uh, so we've, we've kind of reasserted ourselves as the patriarch of the courts of love. Now I guess we've got to rebuild the bloody courts of love. Fantastic. And we've got an ally with uh, the Fives of the Cross. So he's not going to do anything to try and swallow us up. And he can't take back his land either. Unless he breaks the alliance, I guess, which is always a possibility. Right, now we've got to fight off the other war. Because this guy was coming for these provinces. We should definitely move our capital down here. Um, we haven't really got many good provinces, have we? Bloody hell. Uh, miles away from Paris. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll try and tidy this up a little bit before we move down here permanently. But the Grand Court, we need to swallow back up. Our great-grandson. Pathetic. Uh, Burgundy, we can just launch an invasion. Actually, I'm not sure we can anymore because we're an emperor, aren't we? And that is the other one tidied up. Look at that. Wow. I didn't realize that was an empire tier title, to be honest with you. Um, well, I don't really want our capital over there. It's a little bit detached, isn't it? Um, that's why I'm thinking an invasion. If we've still got access to an invasion, Castus Bello would be ideal. Um, what have we got over here? We can invade Kingdom. Yeah, we can. That's ridiculous. Uh, we could invade Burgundy. Take the lot. That'd be quite fun. Uh, invade kingdoms. What have they got there? Part of that's France, right? Oh, Aquitaine. Um, or Burgundy. You know, when you put it like that. <laughs> huh. Wow. Oh, the expansion is going to be good from here. Oh, nice. Your vassal has 28. I was looking for basically new people to put on the council. We're a much larger round now. We're an empire tier title. We need to focus on keeping our vassals happy. So we'll swap you out. 28. That's fantastic. Klaus has got to be someone better than you. Great down, granddaughter and guest. Your chancellor, vassal. Oh, man. Okay. Um, vassals, we've got nine. Okay. Let's not look at it that we're missing out on 12. Let's look at it as we're gaining one and also keeping a vassal happy. Then we've got a marshal, which is currently our son. Um, God, she's so good. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to be unbeatable. Nicholas. Yeah, let's keep him on board. And then spymaster, your vassal. That's what I like to hear. Uh, she's really not very... Not very pleased with me, is she? Your spy master vassal, and I believe rival as well. Uh, yeah, maybe her as a spy master is a poor idea in hindsight. Uh, we could get her to murder her. Eight percent. I wonder why. Okay, you know what? In hindsight, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. If that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and recruit her and assign her instead. Sorry. Uh, and then you can uh, die horribly, as far as I fucking care. Although with 29 marshal, that's gonna be hard to pull off. Diablerize. Eight percent. Investigator. Uh, what else can we do here? Demand conversion. She might accept. Well, let's give it a go then. Uh, a good deal. Thank you. What about her? I only wish for your salvation. Well, there's got to be a way we can get rid of her. But with 28, 29 intrigue, I'm a little concerned. My liege, it is time for you to recognize the ancient and inalienable rights of the gentleman with fine mustaches league. Uh, I will not be threatened by you. How dare you? We could. I'm sure this guy can probably have a mustache, right? He does look like he's about eight. Um, how do I how do I give him a, how do I give him a mustache here? Uh, it's gonna be a barber shop. Ah, beard. Yes. Right. Give me. Ah, you're outmatched, sir. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now he looks like he's just wearing a fake mustache. <laughs> oh, that's not an improvement. Oh well, we're in it. Okay, declare your war. Declare your war. Uh, what is it? Us versus the County of Bourbon and this fella here. Oh no. Careful. I'm not sure we'll not sure we'll win this one, team. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Uh, masquerade exposure is hidden. Gain one martial lifestyle in exchange for masquerade exposure. I'll take that. I'll take that happily. Right? How are we looking? Promising prospects. Marriage exceptions for yourself, close family, and extended family. So if we lose our alliance, we can always go for another one. Then we've got. Loyalty and respect gives spells opinion and skills from spells counselor tells 25%. Damn. I know we're marrying only for alliances, but that's actually quite good, isn't it? We've got Peacemaker plus 10 to Peace Acceptance, so that does mean um, during the Scandinavia series, I was like, does that mean they'll accept a 90%? That's exactly what it means. That's quite good for the riskier, bigger gamble wars. Um, if you want to go for something pretty crazy and then kind of just bomb rush their capital, especially against a person with much more troops than us. Right, let's see if we can kill off these boys here. Oh! I took my foe hostage, but that's only 95%. Why? Controls war target. Oh, because he sieged my capital, I would assume. Uh, he did do exactly that. You bitch. If we had that highest tier, we'd be able to finish it right now. Excellent work. 27 dread. We imprison them. Nice. We could actually go ahead and revoke some titles. We could revoke that title down here and actually take back some... Who was it? Duchy of, Duchy of someone somewhere around here. Who, who was it? Bourbon. Oh, that's not bad capital either. 
Um, it's got Prince of a City level 3. Oh. Okay. Uh, revoke title, we can't because he has protected title revocation. Um, if I release him for a favor, I assume you can't do this, but I might as well give it a go. If we release him for a hook, right, kick him out, modify the feudal contract with a hook, um, with a hook, thank you, uh, to Liege's will. Obligations have already been changed, have they now? That's annoying. Oh. You son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, we can use a hook to throw him in prison, but it's tyrannical. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, that's quite a pain in the ass, isn't it? What? Ah! Stay, please. Uh, 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 what can I do? What can I do? Blood bond. What would that do? Blood, blood, blood bond does what? Excuse me, brother. I need to know what it does. Ah! Uh, I, I want a... Entrance? Will that allow me to keep him to court? 67 prowess? How can I turn my back on this? Um. Okay. I, I guess we'll go for Entrance. That sounds like it's kind of the... That sounds like it's kind of the, you know, help, help convince, hypnotize type of thing. Oh my god, that's the first ever natural martial lifestyle poke we've got just from the ticking experience. Um, Spouse opinion plus 50. It's quite good when you're in an alliance. We've got Peacemaker and then, of course, Gallant again. That's fantastic. After that, we could always go for, like, Bell and Justin. And start going down the strategist tree. Alternatively, like I said, I think the diplomacy down the family hierarchy, I think that could be broken. Broken as all hell with an immortal character, especially if you're careful. Ooh. 54%. 60% chance of getting stress. 60% chance of victory. Oh, sorry, 63% chance. Um, go on. Of course he loves me. All will love me. Got him. And then... Uh, can I now recruit him to court? No. Okay. Well, we got him to love us, though. 505 gold. Man, I wish he would stick around. There's nothing I can really do, is there? What if we arrange a marriage between him and my... Matriarch? What the hell's a matriarch? Oh, that's our... Oh, there you go. Done. Problem solved. Boom. And now he's stuck in our court. <laughs> wow, that was um surprisingly easy. Right, okay. Uh, allow. 69. Look at the prowess on that man. Oh, that's cool. We gain the trait Forder. So Forder, in my opinion, is one of the best traits in CK3. It's fantastic. Crosses water without advantage penalties, yes. Disembarking, straits, rivers, absolutely fantastic. My God, Bavaria just grabbed a load of land. A ridiculous amount of land. Your niece and wife. There she is. <laughs> oh, that's a bit. Wow, that's insane. What an ally she's proven to be, though, huh? Uh, their military strength is inferior to ours. Really? Uh, they've got 15 champions. Oh, no, that's us. Because of the mangonels. We could probably beat her in that case. Obviously, I'm not going to go to war with her. She's an incredible ally. Between us, 25 champions is phenomenal. Burgundy is on the chopping block. I think tomorrow we'll go for Burgundy. I was just kind of waiting for our gold to increase a little bit there so that we can start working on some decent mana arms regiments. I know they're not massively essential. They're still pretty good. Um, Armored Horsemen. Think about that. Go really heavy on things. Uh, what's it on the just versus mangonel? Oh, mangonels are much better. Thank God for that. Um, armored horsemen. Yeah, I could be tempted. I'm only going to burgundy after all. All right, do it. Let's create a band of those, and let's create a band of armored footmen as well. Oh. So Etty tired and need of food, a long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Cracking my knuckles, I declare, that is where we'll make our camp tonight. So venture inside. I'm sure there's treasure to be found. Oh, Okay. Darkness, dampness, and desolate rain inside the castle. All traces of life are gone. Uh, desolation rain, not desolate. You, you know what I mean. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush, lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down the spiral stairs, I see only darkness reaching far down to the ground underneath. Um, find gold, or we gain the trait Brave. 87. Oh, is that b -b -b blood Ooh. <laughs> Getting even more terrifying for our vampire. Boom, there we go. Brave. That's quite nice. Marshall and another three prowess takes us to 52. Good God. I think for today, that's an incredible place to leave it. I think we've achieved quite a huge amount. We're basically just waiting for our levies, our regiments to reinforce here. So we've got some bowmen there, some uh, some armored horsemen, our armored footmen as well, and then of course some mangonels. 
get that to re reinforce, but we've achieved a massive amount, especially compared to yesterday. We went from lowly duke to mighty independent emperor, more importantly. Our wife is incredibly powerful and a great ally to have. We're allied with the Fives of the Black Cross. We've got 11 intrigue now because of various different events that we've had popping up. More importantly, 52 prowess. We're, we are getting up there in terms of the power base here. And more importantly, we basically completed this character's story, you know, retaking the Courts of Love. Fortunately, the Courts of Love have pretty much fallen apart in our absence, so we'll try and rebuild it as best we can. What is the, um... Let's just quickly take a look here. Courts of Love. I want to see the actual du jour. Uh... has no du jour titles below it. Wow. So it's just a case of taking whatever you want. If we could get back our, our du jour capital there in Paris, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Anyway. That's stuff for tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. It's been a, a very productive episode for, for our vampiric guy. The shoutouts are slightly uh, slightly off sync right now because, of course, we started the new Persia series as Series B. So, might be some double shoutouts and weird stuff like that just while I sync them all back up. In the meantime, then a big thank you to our executive producers over on Coffee for making the channel possible in the first place, including Ben, DPB, Kyle, my doctor, hero of my crotch, philosophical you prize, Callum, James, three, Scott, L, Fire Scream, Sideshow, C, Tom P, Scaz, Ethox, Devorda, Simba, I Stab Cows, Zetlock, and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. Big thank you to those guys. And a thank you as well to Archbishop, Blood Riot, Kamikaze, James B, Smirtworm, Galupo, Fruit Hag, Don, Afanifist, Dinosius the Esoteric, Blah Blah Blah. Plumby, Fred, Valo, Consulus, Fiddle Piddle Diddle Riddle, Davidovich, and everyone. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for watching. See you all tomorrow for, I think, a big old kingdom invasion of Burgundy.